What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk Nugent and I'm excited to be back on the StreamYard channel with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about background music, playing background music in your live streams. This is something that people do when you're having those discussion type live streams. You wanna set the tone, you wanna set the vibe, you wanna play some music in the background, it's low. This is a practice that you're gonna to wanna to do for your live stream to be able to level up. And right at the outset, I wanna talk about something to be careful of, something that you need to keep in mind if you've never thought about it before, or there may be some of you who have run up against this thing already and you know what I'm about to say. It could be summed up in one word and that is, copyright copyrighted music will get you flagged playing copyrighted music using copyrighted music in your live stream is the quickest way to get your video not only flagged but in some cases you will be pulled down i've had my live stream actually stopped midstream on facebook because of some copyrighted music. And so when you have guests come through, you gotta be make sure that even if they have the ability to play music, that that music is not copyrighted. If you have Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, you wanna make sure the music that you play is owned. So any of those platforms, that's not your music. And by owned, I don't mean like I bought it and so I own it. No, you have to physically own the copyrights for that music. There are 20 different places that StreamYard has put together in a blog post that we're gonna link in the description of the video. This is the page itself, but there are 20 different places to find music for live streaming, free and paid. And we wanna make sure that you are able to take advantage of that. So we're gonna link to that in the description below. That's gonna give you your resources, that's gonna give you a place, a, a starting point to find the music. And then once you've found the music, there are several ways to be able to bring your music in. Now, one of the ways, of course, is with hardware. You may have an audio interface you may have a roadcaster pro or something like that that you can play music through and you just select that as your mic and you bring that in and if that's your way kudos but some of you have seen the voice meter banana and if you've seen that video you know that you can bring in audio that way and so you can definitely check that out we're gonna put a card to that video right here for you to check that out those are for my windows users but for my mac users you may use a program called loopback and so loopback is also a program that you can use and we will link to that card a uh, really cool guy did a video on using loopback with Streamyard, so we want to make sure that that is available to you and so these are some of the ways that you can use hardware and software to bring background music into your live stream. But I wanna show you a way in this video today of how you can bring music in without using any other hardware, any other software, just using StreamYard. Let's dive into it. So here we are in StreamYard and I'm gonna go ahead and enter the studio. There's a couple of the settings that I wanna show you real quick as we get into what we're about to do here. And you wanna make sure you have these settings set right for your system. So I'm gonna turn my camera off, go to cam mic and go to audio and make sure that echo cancellation is turned off and my stereo audio is turned on. And you wanna make sure that that is set for yourself and for your guests so that when that music plays, it's not fighting in the background with your echo cancellation, right? So that's one setting. Now we have that set. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the studio. And I already have my other machine over here in the studio. And I'm gonna just go ahead and click these three buttons, hit edit mic settings and make sure echo cancellation is turned off. I will also have to make sure that my guest has on headphones to be able to do this so that we can play that music in the background. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is select a video. Now, you're gonna wanna put together a video and you're gonna use whatever video editing software you use. It could be iMovie, it could be Adobe Premiere, it could be Final Cut, it could be Wii Video, it could be any one of these platforms, but put together a video, a playlist of songs that you know are copyright free, right? Use the resources that StreamYard has given us. Put together a playlist of those songs and put them into a movie, right? It's gotta be an MP4 file and you're gonna see why in a second. I have a video from my band that I'm pulling up on screen right now let's see if we can find that video this is the video right here my band my vocalist from my church I'm gonna actually change this MLV to mp4 this is a little hack this is a bonus that I'm gonna show you real quick I'm literally just hitting that hit enter say use mp4 and that's done so now I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, the one one quick setting that we want to look at here real quick is automatically add shared screen slash videos to stream we want to make sure that that is unchecked so that we don't automatically add it into the system. Make sure that that is unchecked. So that was unchecked. We come here to share, we go to video file, and we're gonna browse 
to that location downloads here it is b band go ahead and pull that in and it's going to sit at the bottom ready to go so here it is and it's ready to go i can add it to the stream so now that we have that there i'm going to go ahead and add my video to the stream add the other video to the stream and we have two videos on the screen now so essentially mimicking what it would look like with two guests if you had two guests on the stream so now we're going to go ahead and add the video to the stream and and you can kind of hear that i'm going to pull this down a little bit you're going to want to do this too because it's supposed to be background music now here's the clincher this is the hack this is the whole video right here in a nutshell you want to make sure that you don't have any one of these three items selected all three of these are for shared screen or shared videos if you have any one of these three selected then the video will display for all to see but in order for you to drop it in the background all you need to do is move to any of these any of these layouts that Streamyard has here for our screen any of these is going to have that video in the background it can still be heard but nobody can hear it and that is a great little hack to be able to play that music in the background while your show is going so that you can have that effect for your live show so there you have it you've been able to see how you can do background music with hardware right with your roadcaster pros and different platforms like that usb audio interfaces you've been able to see how you can do background music by going and checking out those two videos voice meter banana and loopback for my windows users and my mac users but you've also been able to see how you can add background music using this little hack that we've shown you today. No software, no hardware required. We're just using what StreamYard has given us. And listen, it's all in the software. It's all in the platform. We haven't pulled any tricks out of our sleeves. That's all you've got to do in terms of prep work is make sure you have a video that has non-copyrighted music in it that you can add to the stream and use one of those layouts that doesn't display the video. Man, it has been my absolute pleasure to be here with you for these videos. Drop us some messages in the comments. Let us know how you have been using music in your live streams. We wanna hear from you. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. StreamYard is literally churning out all kinds of content, all kinds of live shows that has a ton of value. And we want to make sure that you are aware of that and that you can take advantage of it because this is all this channel is here for. So it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, Geek Speaker Preacher, excited about this partnership with StreamYard, excited about the content that we're going to create together here in this space. And I'm excited to see you in another video. Later.